Many photographers find their inspiration close to home. But for HLGU senior um, Ashley Ayers, inspiration really comes from across the globe. Ayers recently debuted her photography exhibit in the Hagerman Art Gallery located in the Roland Fine Arts Center. The exhibit features photos and handmade items from the Caribbean country of Haiti. Ayers has been to Haiti many times. She says that the relationships she's formed with the people in that country are very important to her. And now that's why I love Haiti so much is because of the people. And so it's just been really cool to see how God has grown those relationships over the years and how we've kind of developed a new life in Haiti. So we kind of live a double life. So, <laughs> Ayers and her entire family are part-time missionaries to the country. The Ayers family has worked in Haiti since 2012. Ashley Ayers' parents currently serve as the community outreach coordinators at a missions compound in Haiti. Mission work is a family affair, and Ayers says she hopes to use her photography and biology major to continue to serve in the mission field. When I when we started going to Haiti, I really loved taking pictures there. And then when I graduated from high school, uh, my parents gave me a camera, and so then I really loved it. And then um, I really felt like God was leading me into the medical field. So that's where the biology comes in. But then the photography, I've been able to kind of combine the two and use uh, the photography on the mission field. And I hope to one day use the biology in the medical field or in the mission field as well. So Ayers uses her photography to capture everyday life for the Haitian people. She has seen many turn their lives to Christ during her time on mission in Haiti. Ayers says she wants people to see God glorified in her photography. The message I want people to know more than anything is just the message of the gospel and that God, I just pray that God would be glorified in all my photography work. So I just pray that the images I take would help people kind of experience God in a new way and draw them closer to Him and hopefully get to know a new culture and lifestyle that they wouldn't able, be able to see otherwise. So, The exhibit will be on display until February 16th. Reporting for TNN, I'm Jill Alexander.